خوشه ای سان اگر تام دقیق دلنیانی نما سبو تو گنجا و یانا منم کوم الله پرسیارم دا ناوا احمدم کردو اسد تو انی تو ام پرسیارانا لخوت کی تو والا میان بدیت و هر کاتیک تو انی تل صغ شاص یان هفته پرسیار کان والا ام دیت و او وات تو امادی بو اسی چوارم من تی کس ان شاء الله گری خوت تستی خوت کی بلام به سونو نه هاوران به دیرک دو دیر بتوان والا می هر پرسیار گلو انا بدنا که هاوران هر چی تان کرو بج داری مو کپ تستی گفتو گو کپ کان لکو تای ویدیو کدا کپ بو یک می جار ل کورس کی کردو دا پیش کش نکری یو دارم بدل تام بیت Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're all having a great time. How are you doing? How's your family doing? Is everything all right? Uh, so it's a great pleasure uh, for me to be back in a new level. And as I have told you before, the whole course is gonna be in English. I mean, the entire course, okay? But you don't have to feel panicked because I'm going to speak at an optimum speed, okay? so. It's not too slow so you're gonna feel sleepy and it's not too fast that you're not going to understand me. I'll try to stand in between. Not too fast, not too slow. And as I've told you before that the course, uh, the goal of the course is to help you to improve your speaking skills. I mean that I try to focus on the conversation part of this course, okay? I'm going to ask you so many questions and you just go ahead and get yourself ready to respond to my questions, okay? Uh, I'm telling you this because unlike most of the teachers, I'm not going to teach you a bunch of new words. I'm not going to teach you a plethora of new words. My belief is that, okay, that you know a lot of words, but when you try to speak in English, that's when the challenge starts. Basically, your brain will tell you, okay, wait, I cannot speak in English. But you know a lot of words, right? And my proof for that is when you read something on social media, when you watch a movie or a film, or when you even listen to a song, right? You understand most of it, or at least some of it. But when you try to speak, then your brain is stuck. So in this course or throughout this course, I'm going to help, uh, I'm going to help you to, uh, you know, make a passage between your passive part of your brain and your mouth. So all of the words that you know and exist, and you've also memorized it in the passive part of your brain, so they can flow out easily uh, from your mouth, okay? So uh, I'm gonna help you to put all of the words that you know into sentences okay okay that so i hope now that my goal my aim is clear uh you know um throughout the whole course okay so uh let's start from uh that's uh, so just like that we're gonna wrap up the introduction and we will dive into the sections of the uh, course book okay so the course book as you know it's speak now and it is level four so look at the aims of the lesson first the aims of the lesson first and foremost asking about significant experiences so what is experience experience is something that you've done in the past and now you're familiar with it maybe you are an officer at a specific company and you in it's been like two years you're working there right so now you have experience regarding your work so this is experience, okay? And um, and events, events are the things that happens in your life, okay? Events are the things that happens in your life. I think it's cool. But what I want to what I want you to focus on is significant and important. They are the synonym of each other. By synonym, I mean they have exactly the same meaning. But significant is. Uh, more advanced words. So if you want to, uh, you know, speak just like a native, then from now on, try to use significant instead of important. Okay, they have exactly the same meaning. Look at the title of the lesson. It is I learned a lot from. I learned a lot from. I learned a lot from. Speak now course. I learned. I learned a lot from you. I learned a lot from my teacher. I learned a lot from my dad. And by the way, guys, if you're watching this video from the UK or you're interested in the British accent, then 
you might find the, in the some course books they just write e you know t instead of ed because ed is uh, more common in the american english but in british english sometimes they just use it t instead of ed or in other words they substitute ed with t so learned with t or learned with ed they're both okay so look at the vocabulary section guys in the vocabulary section we're going to learn and memorize some of the words that are related to today's topic so look at the here it says look at the phrases below check each thing that has happened to you in the last five years not the last 10 years only five years okay so uh, so as you see uh, I've translated the book so you can read the meaning of each phrase or word in Kurdish but I'm also trying to you know uh, tell you the meaning of the words in English too okay so for example overcome be careful about this all this is the present form okay this is not the past all overcome overcome an obstacle or in British they call it all but in American it's a ah, obstacle but in British accent it's all obstacle okay so uh, obstacle is basically anything that makes it difficult for you to do something anything that makes it difficult for you for example now the greatest uh, let's say challenge that the earth faces is global warming right so you can say basically and this there is a great obstacle to save the earth from global warming right um because we have a lot of factories and companies here and there so they just uh, you know uh make the earth warmer okay and uh, the next one is a get into get into is start something new okay start something new for example now uh, your job is an IT technician okay or maybe you're an engineer and you suddenly decide to change your career to a musician right so you tell yourself or maybe you tell your friends oh I got into music it means that it means that now you're working as a musician you've changed your career okay you've started something new get into or get into is in the present form got is the past okay got is the past of get have a setback so what is setback setback is you know something that delays your progress for example you're studying at university okay and uh, you're one of the top students suddenly something happens and it just uh you know doesn't let you to keep progressing maybe you're let's say you're father will lose his job and so you don't have any other breadwinners of the family no one earns money for the family right and your dad lost his job so now this is a reason that you may not progress in your studying okay this is a setback setback is just like a failure so because your dad lost his job you cannot study anymore in university so you 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 just quit studying at university this is a setback this is a failure right and then we have an opportunity uh or for the setback i can give you more examples like i have uh suffered a serious uh setback during my uh, academic life okay this is an example for that i have suffered a serious okay uh and the next thing is have an opportunity to have an opportunity to basically opportunity is uh, when it is possible for you to do something okay you can say next year I have an opportunity to study my master degree have an opportunity to do it is possible for you to do that and the next thing is, uh, is face a challenge you know challenge is something new and difficult for you and usually it requires a great effort and determination and sometimes even more power to do it maybe you can say you tell yourself okay uh, my first challenge after graduation is finding a job unfortunately yeah it's like a challenge here in Kurdistan right and I think um, change is easy right you make a change for example you're a smoker and you just want to quit smoking so you make a change in your life and you decide not to smoke anymore that's a change in your life you make you you made it a change in your life and decision is uh i think it's clear what is decision uh for example you can say you can ask one of your friends who makes most decisions in your family and 
you can reply like my dad makes most of them okay uh, and to take a risk means basically put yourself in danger that's all okay uh, sometimes maybe uh, you hear someone tells you that if you don't take a risk then you cannot win this contest 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 is competition okay um, let's uh, you know move to uh, part B okay now I'm gonna give you an example about part B and you go ahead and pause the video here and you can you know write more examples in your not book Part B says here, part B says, take turns talking about the things that have happened to you, ask two follow-up questions. So what is follow-up question? Follow-up question is basically when you talk about a specific topic and then uh, your friend asks you a asks you question about that topic. So this is follow-up question. Or so I can tell you, um, you know, like an example about that, right? Uh, about something that happened to me. Like I can tell you, okay, you know what? Last year I got into football and I can say it was risky because I thought I would never become a great player. But finally I overcame, overcame, okay? It's the past form of overcome. I overcame all obstacles and setbacks when I realized I have to take advantage of this opportunity. And my friend asks me, okay, what change you had to make? And I would, uh, you know, reply uh, to him like, well, one change was uh, changing my lifestyle and the other one was about training more than necessary because, you know, I'm a new player. So I, and I, I have to train more than the rest of the players. Yeah, of course, if I want to be successful. And my friend is going to ask me like, oh, did anyone help you in this decision? And I would uh, reply like, oh, actually, no. I solely decided to change my career and challenge myself. Be careful. It is solely, it's not solely. It's solely decided to change my career and change myself. Okay. This is this is my example about that. Okay, about something that happened to me. And so now you can you, you can pause the video and give me your example. Okay. Tell me about something that happened to you in, in, in your life. Tell me about something that happened to you last year. Something important. Okay. So you can pause the video and give me your answer. And now uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, switch to a conversation section. I'm going to play this audio track, guys. I've translated the integrity, so uh, it is not necessary actually for me to, you know, um, translate it back into Kurdish, right? So you can just uh, listen to it and enjoy it. One, I learned a lot from page two, conversation. A. Listen. What happened to Lewis recently? What happened to Kristen? Hi, Lewis. I hear you've made a big change recently. Yeah, I have. I just got a job as a photographer. Oh, wow. How did you get into photography? I had the opportunity to work with a photographer friend of mine. I learned a lot from working with him. I also learned that I wanted to be a professional photographer. That's great. Congratulations. Thanks. Oh, that reminds me. Anna tells me that you just moved. Yes, I did. I had a setback last month when I lost my job, but it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. I just got a much better job, and I moved to Sao Paulo. I'm sorry to hear about your setback, but so glad to hear about your new job. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Uh, I just want to give you a quick note about this word, which is photographer. So it is not photographer. It's photographer. Okay. Photographer. Okay. Photographer. Photographer. Okay. I just got a job as a photographer. Okay. So let's move to part B and fill out the, you know, the blanks here. It says, I didn't realize you were a photographer. And the second one is, I hope I can visit. Number three, I love it. I've always wanted to live there. This is number four. So it, here it says, yes, I have. I just got a job as a photographer. And basically you can say, I love it. I love it. So number 
three. Oh wow! How did you get into photography? How did you start your job as a photographer? And so uh, you can say, I didn't realize that you're a photographer, right? I didn't realize that you're a photographer. Number three here we have, um, I just got a much better job and I moved to Sao Paulo. Number four. I've always wanted to live there. The last one. I'm sorry to hear about your setback, but so glad to hear about your your new job. I hope I can visit. I hope I can visit. Okay, these are about you know uh, substituting those sentences so now let's look at language booster session this is the summarize of what we have studied so far okay guys so look at i hear that you just moved or anna tells me that you just moved or this is about significant experiences in your life and or maybe you can say oh that reminds me oh that reminds me you just moved ah okay so you can say, oh, you know, I hear that you got married. Oh, I hear that you changed your job. Oh my God, I hear that you bought a new car. Congratulations. You see? Or, ah, that reminds me, you just got a new car. Congratulations. Okay? Guys, be careful about facial expression. Not like, oh, I hear that you bought a new car. No. Oh, I hear that you knew you bought a new car. Congratulations. You see my facial expressions? Okay. So, talking about the important events. Uh, talking about. Okay, so. You can say it's one of the most exciting things I've ever done. It, it was one of the most delicious food I've ever eaten. You can see, you can change the sentence. It turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. Or you can say, it's the best decision I've ever made. Or you can say, it was one of the biggest challenges I've ever faced. Or you can say, oh, you know, it was one of the smallest challenges I've ever faced. It was just so easy and effortless. It was just a small challenge. It was not a big deal. Okay? Okay, guys. So, uh, these are how you can use uh, those expressions that the book mentioned and I've gave you so many examples so many more examples about that right you can change the examples as you wish and uh, now uh, let's move to part B part B says take turns asking and talking about an important event in your life okay I'm going to give you another example based on my example you can pause the video and talk about your examples okay so my example would be like okay you know my wedding day was a great day and i can never forget it because after so many years of relationship with my partner finally we decided to you know move in together right moving together means living together okay and my partner is gonna let's say my friend's gonna ask me oh when was that when was that and i can say oh you know it wasn't 2015 or 2015 both of them are correct okay and he's gonna tell me oh was that challenging i mean getting married is like a challenge to you well you say yeah because i had to work overtime and look at uh, you know look after my family at the you know at the same time okay working overtime and look after my uh, family at the same time pause the video here and you talk about any an important event in your life okay pause the video and write more examples in your notebook Okay, now it's time to improve our listening skills. Okay, now it says, listen, write the correct name under each picture. Okay, under each picture. I'm going to play the Andrea track here and listen to it carefully. Page three, listening, A and B. Hi, Clara. I hear you made a change recently. Oh, hi, Alex. Yeah, I did. I took a risk and made the decision to go back to school. Oh, wow. That's amazing, Clara. What are you studying? I'm studying to be a teacher. I think you'd be a wonderful teacher, Clara. Thanks, Alex. 
I think it's the best decision I've ever made. So how about you? What have you been up to? Me? Well, I faced a challenge last year and I lost my job. Half of the employees at my company got laid off. Oh no, that's a shame. You're in sales, right? Yes, that's right. Being unemployed for a year was one of the biggest challenges I've ever faced. But I had a great opportunity last week. I ran into an old friend, and he offered me a job at his company. I start on Monday. That's great. Congratulations. Hey, Victor. How are you? Hi, Larissa. I'm doing well, thanks. I'm surprised to see you at a bakery in the middle of the afternoon. You're usually at the office in the afternoons, aren't you? Well, I decided to take a risk and start my own business. Oh, wow. That's really brave of you. It was scary, but starting my own business is one of the most exciting things I've ever done. What is your new business? This bakery. We just opened two weeks ago. Really? Congratulations. It's a really nice place. Thanks, Larissa. I'm really happy with how it's going. How did you decide to open a bakery? Well, I got into baking a couple of years ago, just for fun, but I ended up really enjoying it. Then, a few months ago, I decided it was time for me to make a change. Oh, that reminds me. I hear that you just made a change, too. Yes, I did. I got married last month. That's great. Congratulations. Let's have a piece of cake to celebrate. Thanks. I'd love to. On to their stories with your partner, okay? So you see, I faced a challenge. I've given you a simple example, a basic example. A while ago, I had to work over time to fulfill my family needs. Maybe my family is poor and I have to work and earn money so I can feed my family, right? I overcame an obstacle. Guys, this is overcame. This is the past form of... Um, this is the past form of overcome, overcame. This is the past form, overcame an obstacle. My finance was not good at all when I was studying at university, but finally I could pass it. Finally, I could be successful, okay? I took a risk. I made the decision to move from herbal to slim. I need to engage with my new job as an IT technician, okay? My job was IT technician. Okay, guys, now let's have a conversation together. Let's start. Well, welcome back everyone. This time we have a conversation together. I will ask you a question and I will also give you my answer for that. I will give you my template for that. Then the next time I will ask the question, then you go ahead and tell me your answer for that. You have time to respond to all of my questions. Okay, so the first question is, tell me about the biggest challenge in your life okay well um the biggest challenge in my life was about choosing a college uh, to study at university and then my friend is gonna ask me why was it a challenge for you well um my family liked me to study in nursing whereas i prefer to study in engineering because i was really into engineering and i liked engineering a lot okay now you go ahead and tell me about one of the challenges in your life you have time mm-hmm 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 Mm-hmm. That's great. And uh, you can pause the video here if you want more time, okay? Just pause the video and continue talking. Uh, well, last year, I decided to quit smoking and it was a great change for me, okay? And then my friend asks me, okay, why was it a great change? Well, uh, my doctors told me that if you want to have a healthier life, then try your best to get rid of smoking. And now I feel awesome and great because I was successful in that. So, now you tell me about the change 
in your life. You have time and go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. And if you want more time, just pause the video here and continue talking. Okay. Now, next question. Tell me about an important decision that you've made recently. Okay? So, well, one of the greatest decisions that I've ever made was about enrolling in an English course because my career requires it more than anything else. And now I feel so great because finally I can speak English fluently. Okay? Okay. Now you go ahead and tell me about one of the biggest and greatest decisions that you've ever made in your life. That's great. And if you want more time, just pause the video here and continue talking. Okay, guys, this was the first lesson of the student book. Until the next lesson, have a great time.